Oh, you're going to love this. A man in Bountiful has transformed his backyard into a haunted forest, and he wants you to check it out. If you dare, of course. Fox 13 News anchor Amy Nay shows us how they're trying something new this year. Run for your life. Ghouls and goblins here in this haunted forest in Bountiful. <laughs> Even scaring me as I ventured through in the middle of the day. But creator Doug Butt says it's at night when this Halloween haunt in his backyard really comes alive. At night, it's scary. It's a spook, yes, it's a haunted forest, and it is a haunted forest. The night. Putting in well over 100 hours on this project, along with his wife, Johanna, Doug says it's worth it to see their visitors' reactions. Every time they come up from the backyard, just, their eyes are like, this was my favorite, that favorite, and they are so excited. Challenging all of us to get out of that rut and try something new. A lot of people get tired of doing the same old thing. This kind of helps us just do something different. Don't be afraid to do it. And gather and have fun. All of this actually started with these palm trees in Doug's front yard. He planted them some 20 years ago, saying it inspired him to think outside the box and do something different. But this is his first year he's done Halloween, and he says maybe he's gone a little overboard. Well, I got carried away, obviously. If you look around, I mean, it's kind of crazy. This is fun. <laughs> Oh, I've got to have that. I feel a little uh, <laughs> anxious. It started when he was asked to throw a party, and he went all in. I haven't been accumulating these things. This is the first year that I did, so I did it all in one whack, and my credit card's a little bit overfilled. <laughs> Some folks get superstitious about digging up the dead. Spending over 7000 he estimated purchasing over 100 skeletons and more than two dozen giant animated Halloween characters that line a path from his house at 1016 East Millbrook Way down the ravine and to a creek below and at times along a pretty steep trail. Open to the public the past several weeks, but wrapping up Tuesday, the night of Halloween, and then what will he do with all the stuff? We're worrying about that after we get done, and so... We're, we're figuring that out. So I guess you're going to do it again next year? We, pr You know, it's like having a baby. I'm, I, I'll probably wait till next year. I'll say, yeah, let's do it again. Reporting in the haunted forest here in Bountiful. Amy Nay, Fox 13 News, Utah. Oh, job well done. Doug says they are charging admission to help offset some of his costs. It's $5 to take the tour, 15 for the whole entire family. He's also accepting canned food donations for the local food bank. Again, his haunted forest is at 1016 East Millbrook Way. That's in Bountiful. It's open tonight and tomorrow night from 6 to 10 p.m. There are a lot of really great neighborhood Halloween displays to check out. Scan that QR code on your screen to see a map of the biggest and spookiest haunts in the state. The group Rocky Mountain Haunters put this all together. Don't miss it.